these six oil executives, five of them US citizens, had already been stuck in Venezuelan prison for years. Now they've finally been tried, found guilty of corruption, and received sentences of between 8 and 13 years. Whatever he wants to do with that. This letter is from one of them, Tomo Valdel. It's the first public message from any of the men since their arrest. He wrote it just before his trial's conclusion. His lawyer reads it. Now I'm reaching a crossroads where if justice is done, I'll be able to rebuild my life and try to compensate my family for all the lost moments. The light is intense. The hope is great. Give me freedom. Freedom was denied to him. Human rights advocates say that Venezuela's justice system is plagued with corruption, inefficiency and political bias. His lawyer again. In Tomeo's case, there is no evidence. It's not that there is no circumstantial evidence or no indirect evidence or flawed evidence. There is no evidence, none, period. Al Jazeera asked the team of Venezuela's attorney general, Tarek Williams, for his response about the cases. The answer, no comment. The men work for oil company Sitgo. They were arrested and charged with embezzlement after being lured to a business meeting in Venezuela three years ago. Their cases played out against the backdrop of the acrimonious relationship between President Nicolas Maduro and the Trump administration. Like many other countries, the US supported Maduro's rival Juan Guaido's claim to the presidency. We want to get every American back. US Secretary of State Mike Pompeo has indicated that he believes the six men are being used as political hostages. Despite that, before the trial's verdict, Vadel's family were hopeful he would be home for future Thanksgivings, just like the ones they used to celebrate together. So I think my father wants to share to the world that he a message of love, of hope, and of justice. He's been held for, you know, over three years unjustly. Uh, and, and now there's a glimmer of hope um, with the trial ongoing. Now that trial is over, for the six men and their families, hope appears to be waning. John Holman, Al Jazeera.